Welcome everyone to Tax Talk Canada, where we answer your biggest tax law questions. Today, we're speaking with Charles Hayworth, a partner at Radnoff Hayworth. Charlie, a question that we often get from our subscribers about tax law. Can a tax lawyer reduce your tax liability? Definitely, and it's something that I do almost on a daily basis. So in which situations would a tax lawyer reduce your liability? So usually CRAs come and said, uh, they've issued a reassessment and said you know, to a client, you owe us an extra hundred grand or a million dollars or something along those lines. And there's certain reasons for that finding. And so the client will come to me and say, this is what CRA has done. Can you respond to it and dispute it? And so there's a two-step process. There's an objection, which is within CRA. Um, where you basically say, here are the facts that you didn't know during your audit or whatever process you went through, and here's the law. You've got to change the assessment. And CRA will either agree or disagree with that. Um, and if they disagree with that, then you tend to, um, or only partially agree with that, you tend to end up in tax court. And so 90% of those tax court uh, appeals, they're called, settle. Um, and usually it's for a reduction in tax. And I'll just give you two examples if I can. Um, two that's kind of stuck out in my mind. Um, uh, there was a nice couple who bought and sold uh, a number of houses in a number of years. And so CRA said it was a business, um, but they had legitimate reasons for buying one house and then selling the next year and moving on and moving on. So I was able to convince the CRA of those reasons and it reduced the tax debt from over a million dollars to more like $200,000. So that's just a, an exa a prime example of the kind of work that I might be doing. That's an excellent example. On average, how much money can somebody save by having a lawyer reduce their liabilities, specifically a tax law specialist? So it's very difficult to give an average because the way that tax law works, it's extremely fact dependent. And CRA isn't, the minister I should say, the Minister of National Revenue, isn't allowed to settle a case on what's known as a, um, is only allowed to settle a case on a principal basis. So that basically means it has to be based in fact you can't just say, give me a 50% reduction in what you've assessed me. You, you have to come up with quite um, elegant or creative ways to use the facts to say, you know, let's reduce this tax by 90%. Or, or, but it's always based upon the facts, so I can't really give you an average. Suffice it to say it's relative, but it can be a large sum depending on the situation. Yes, like it depends on the case. So, so my best example is I've reduced liability 100%. And then in other examples, it might only be 90 or 80 percent. So it really just depends on what the conduct of the client is and what CRA, like what the tax, what the law is, like which section of the Income Tax Act. So it's very situational. Yeah. Charlie, thank you again for your time today and your great answers. I'm Brianna Fox, and this has been a Tax Doc Moment. Don't forget to like, follow and subscribe.